Okay, that's the... Oh my god, that's a dual-wielding witch! Oh, that's not really good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mortal Realms Vampire Wars. I am Neon Dynamite, and today I'll be sucking the blood out of the innocents and soldiers of the Empire. If you have somehow missed the previous episode, basically Immortal Realms is a world where the vampires are actually dominating quite well in the kingdom of humans. The humans are the servants of the empires at least that's what it seems there are three different clans of vampires and they dominate the region and they do just do whatever they want now apparently the so-called the empire of humans is daring to attack us and we are repelling the human scum out of our realm. Keep in mind, if you have not watched the previous episode, that this is still the beta version. Uh, the key has been supplied by Calypso, which I'm very, very grateful for because I am digging this game. If you know me, you know that I really dig games where I can play as the evil guy. And as you can see, this is a turn-based strategy game uh, with, like, actually have battles, uh, like, between the, the two armies. You're gonna see this thing in a minute or two, as soon as I'm gonna actually find somebody to fight with. So, ah, speaking of the devil, wonderful. We have here a uh, force of the rebels. We have a few spearman units. Uh, an archer squad, peasant squad, and some scouting unit. The strength of the army, 53. While my army is on 127. You are just a pack of bloodbags. Oh, I can actually auto-resolve this thing. Oh, lovely! <laughs> Completely dominated. Thank you very much. Okay, we got ourselves a new card. Uh, by the way, just so you're gonna be aware of this, uh, this, this scenario, the first mission, actually has like specific rules. So normally I would have to conquer all of those regions, normally I would have to uh, recruit my units from like those different buildings that we have around here. Uh, because of the specific rules of this scenario, uh, like there are some differences, like normally you would have to conquer all of this thing. Um, and also like I'm actually supposed to have an income and upkeep of my armies. This does not apply in this mission, so technically the only thing I'm limited to is my card. This is like a strategy game with card system, so you use, you use those cards as they were spells. And speaking of, I can actually give this card to my army and that will give me uh, experience points. So yeah, maybe we're gonna do that thing. Also, I can cast this thing on any recruitment building and it's supposed to give me uh, a new unit. Okay, Akola, do I need anything? Uh, I don't think so. Can I swap those Okay, I can swap those around. Okay, so let me... Uh, make some cleaning around here because this is a complete mess right now my army Okay, there you go. Now. This is much more cleaner So we got three squads of spearmen four squads of spearmen one squad of wolves one squad of acolytes who are apparently responsible for killing me and then you have three squads of archers and I can for example use this card over here uh, so that recruitment will be 10% less uh, to 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 use. So let's say, for example, I want to recruit myself some wolves. Normally they're gonna cost you 8 blood. So if I'm gonna cast this thing on this, then the cost is only 7. There you go. And this is like, because of the specific rules of the scenario, I can only recruit units like this. And apparently I got some healing cards over here, but all units targeted army heal for 100 HP. Okay, those are like really powerful cards if you think about that. But then again, if I'm gonna go to a village, I can just heal myself in the village. Let's see. I could try to get myself a new card, though. Consumes all po population of village or city to gain 8 blood points for each. And I can get this thing for free. Uh, this is useless, this is useless. I still got full mana and I'm not using this thing, so let's get this. And apparently I can now cast this card on a city. And I'm supposed to get back my resources. Okay, so the city gave me 40 resources back, but I've killed all of the population inside. So this village right now is not giving me any blood. Okay, so this is like an interesting mechanic. Like, if you need to, you can sacrifice like a village or city. And you can get like some instant blood, but then again your economy will be crippled. So this is like a double-edged sword. Alright, what else we have? Target I'm gain to action points movement. That's nice. Oh yeah, I forgot completely that I can actually upgrade my hero, I guess. So, okay, this is equipment. This is what... Hold on a second, what is this thing? Cards. 
so that I'm supposed to upgrade my cards instead. Okay, so let's maybe upgrade this one. Aha, Vampire Lord advances, upgrade an ability card. Right, damage increased to 60. Uh, Lord now gains 50% of damage dealt as a healing. Also heals allied units uh, for 20 health. Mm, okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one. It's actually like good. So, like using this, uh, using the hero ability on one enemy is gonna be like a waste because I'm damaged my myself. But if I'm gonna attack more than one unit, then basically I'm gonna uh, heal myself back to like full amount. Okay, so what does this thing? Upgrades the falling card permanently while in the ritual site is under your control. Oh. Oh, is that how it works? Wait, hold on a second. Because I think I had a ritual site over here. Ah, so that's why this card have changed. Because I used to have that this card heals only 60%. And because I had that shrine over there, it upgraded my cards. Interesting! Oh shit, I wanted to go to the blacksmith. God damn it! So what exactly the blacksmith can give me? I can get myself some equipment. Nice. Uh, I can get mana, mana regeneration, all units in army gain one movement. Sundering keyword. So this is like a blade. I can get myself an armor. Or I can get myself a regenerate. Okay, let's get a blade. I think the blade is actually like a better idea. Ah, and I have to give this card to my hero. Okay, so now she has a blade. Okay, good! She should have, like, more damage, actually, because of this. Forest, my lady. I've never heard anything like it before. It is the cultists singing a hymn to the Death God. I thought Vlad banished their kind from our realm long ago. I really like the voice actor before, uh, uh, after Cecilia. F f of Cecilia? I don't know what's the proper sentence, but still, like... Like, that's good! <laughs> like, sometimes, you know... Like, she don't, she didn't adjust to the situation, but damn! The, the accent, man! I really dig that thing. Okay, so, ah, there's the enemy army, so what do you have? Prophet Kalesh. Kalash. Kalesh. Kalesh. And you have Dead Cultist. Alright. Magic attack. Attacks deal magic damage and ignores arm, armor value. Ooh, sacrifice. When this unit dies, it does... It restores 10 mana to its lord. Soul tap. Restores 5 mana when this unit kills another unit. Okay. So the strength of this army is 102. Alright, so if I'm gonna cast myself the card to upgrade my veterancy. Okay, this looks better. So let's see how the cultists will deal with a proper fighting force. Oh great, we'll be fighting in the ruin. No, this is the graveyard. Good! We won't have to travel with the corpses too far. All right, so that's the hero. Okay, so... All right, they can go through here. There's a wide opening over here. They can go through here. Okay, so the question is now, should I try to rush towards them? Uh... Hmm. I got four squads of spearmen, right? Hold on a second, let's activate the grid. Right, so I got four squads of spearmen. Right, I could try to put one here and then another one over here. So, units standing here will be flanked by both of my squads. So let's assume that those two will go. Then I can do the same thing over here. So the hero will stand here, hero will stand here and then we can put one squad over here. So let's do that, okay. And then I got this opening here. So I could try to send, let's say, a squad of spearmen. Uh... I could try to put a squad of spearmen here, a squad of acolytes here, and then the wolves here, so they could attack this tile over here, because they can do that thing. So, let's do something like this. And the walls will go behind. Okay. Uh, and then the archers can stand here, probably here, and here. Right? So, if the enemy is gonna try to outflank me at the very edge, then yeah, that's gonna be a problem. But if you want to do that, then he is screwed. That should work. Okay, the hero has first movement, so go here. Okay, and you, this is gonna be your guarding point. Ah, shit. He casted some spell. Please don't tell me that was like an important spell or like an EOE spell because... 
It's gonna be annoying. Yo, I want to move my camera view. Can you please stop? <laughs> I want to move, you bitch! <laughs> no! Oh no, he just casted something at me. Apparently I cannot move anymore. Right, that's great. Okay, you guys go here. The wolves now. Okay, the wolves need to go here. There we go. Okay, now my archers are supposed to move. So, you actually, you know what? Let's cast... Because this squad has to go really far away. I kind of like hope they will be able to do this thing. Uh, okay, first archer squad, go here. Second archer squad, go here, I guess. Third archer squad, go... Okay, you should be safe here. There we go. Okay, now you have to go here. You're gonna do the flanking maneuvers. You, you go forward. This squad goes, joins the hero over here, like such, and this squad goes here. Okay, so all of my flanks are secured, my main line is ready, so now we just have to like stay put and wait for the things to happen. Uh, she's taking some damage and I really don't like that thing. Deals 55 damage to a unit, heals you lord for the same amount. There you go, lord healed. Oh no. <laughs> He's using something, and I'm not ready for that! Ow! Okay, so now this is a kill box. I have basically created three kill boxes with this movement. So either he's gonna come to me, or... I don't know what he could actually like do. So I'm outflanking him. <laughs> Master strategist at his finest. So check this out. Uh, okay, I cannot move on this unit. Uh... You guys... Okay, you wait. I don't need you to do anything. You also wait. Ah, archers. Beautiful. So, I want the archers to... Okay, maybe I want you to shoot at the leader. Because he kind of looks dangerous, so... Let's just weaken him a bit. Okay, there we go. We can also aim at the archers. Yeah, all of my armies are in the kill boxes movement, so... The leader is actually like the most dangerous thing. Okay, so because this unit of enemy is standing next to my unit, then I'm basically flanking him with this squad over here. Ha! And because I'm flanking him, that means I'm making more damage to him. <laughs> okay, you go guard mode. Uh, you finish off this squad. Beautiful. <laughs> Just as intended. I am so good at this game. I know. What did you expect? You thought that you would just walk here and tell me. You will dare to tell me who you are when I didn't even ask. <laughs> you will perish in this. What the fuck? Uh oh. I don't like the look of it. Ow. Okay, he is healing for a really huge amount. I'm starting to dislike this leader. Okay, you cannot do anything. You're gonna go forward. <laughs> pathetic! You are all pathetic! Okay, maybe you are not so pathetic. Right, I could try to heal myself. What What is this, this green thing? Hold on a second. What is this? What is this green thing? Doesn't say. I think it reduces my attack. Yeah, it reduces my attack by like 10. That's a lot. Okay, try to heal. Alright, this is squad of who? Wolves. Okay, so they can do this thing. And they can attack this unit over here. Beautiful. Right, archers! Fire! Actually, I can do aim shot to get more damage. Beautiful. Aim shot. Fire. There you go. Beautiful. You start attacking this squad over here. Yes, yes, yes. Do all the damage you want in the world. Nobody really cares. Right, the leader is almost dead. That's wonderful. You keep damaging this. Cecilia is gonna basically finish them off either way. <laughs> How do you feel to be so pathetic? Oh, yeah, Cecilia knows how to attack. That's for sure. This guy is still healing. That's not good. That's really, really not good. I need to move the acolytes back and then move Cecilia inside. Uh, okay, wait for now. Don't do anything. Uh-oh. Ouch. Well, maybe actually she won't have to. Okay, this unit is really damaged. We have to call them back. 
Cecilia needs to block the passage. Otherwise, they're gonna they're gonna uh, kill my units, and I really prefer not to re-level them again. Right, move the acolytes back. Actually, maybe. No, you're fine. Just keep fighting. You'll be able to hold out on your own. This guy is not that strong. Right, the wolves can attack. The other adjusted tile. Okay, archers. You can actually take out this unit. I got three archer squads. Hmm. Okay. Aim with the archers. Two squads of archers aim at the incoming group. This archer group is gonna help with the leader. Like such. Okay, you keep attacking that squad. Fire! <laughs> Wonderful. Alright, you're gonna guard. Now, which one's, which squad is moving? Oh, I can just finish him off. Is this squad? Yeah, it's this squad. Ha! <laughs> like a trash bag. Okay, you need to, you need to fall back. I really want you to, to run. You need to run. You need to run because otherwise you're gonna get yourself killed. Worst thing is I cannot flank this thing behind you. Yeah, this is my limit of movement. Okay, I'm gonna try. Okay, Cecilia. Do some damage, baby. Ah! <laughs> nice. Time to finish them off, Cecilia. Wonderful. This is what how a true leader is fighting. A true leader of the vampire chosen by Dracula himself. Uh, okay, all of you are like out of my range. Expect for the archer range. Pathetic. Now those are really good. Uh, okay, complete victory. He has been massacred. I mean, I what, I don't know what he expected that he's gonna achieve. Oh great, I got a new sword. <laughs> hmm. Okay, what type of sword do I have? Blade of Breaking. That's the sword of the marrow. Okay, I don't know which one is better. Gain the Sundering keyword. Wait, this is an ability. I don't know what the Sundering is, you know? Sundering. Attack reduces the enemy armor by 8. Well, that's good against heavy armored units. So what's gonna happen if I'm gonna give you a new sword? New item, old item, yeah. What, I lost the item? Oh, son of a bitch, I lost the item. Okay. That's good to know, I guess. Uh, okay, give veteran seat to my units. Beautiful. Now go, my little ones. Go and bring darkness to my enemy land. <laughs> Actually, I can cast myself a heal. Beautiful. Okay, keep moving. Uh, is there like anything else we could try to do over here? I don't think so. Ah, enemy. How lovely. How strong are you? 72 versus 144. I'm just gonna be really generous and allow you to flee. You have five seconds of uh, head start. Too late. What? I don't know what you expect. <laughs> oh great, we can get myself a new more units, but that's not really the thing. Uh, okay, I'm gonna cast this thing. So this gives me movement points and I can now heal. And I can make a move. What I can say, I am so fucking good at this game. Problem is, I need more blood. Yeah, I really need more blood. Wait, hold on a second. Can I... If I'm gonna move my unit back, I think I can actually drain? Consumes all available population for extra blood points. Hey, that works! <laughs> and I can cast myself this thing. So we're gonna have like a... Like a guard in the back. If needed. So that works indeed! Go, my little ones! Go! Consume! Those who dare to rebel against Dracula. There is a enemy army over here of wild lions, and they have a strength of 66. So let me guess what's gonna happen if I'm gonna get close to them. Hmm? Oh yeah, auto resolve. Because you are all a bunch of bitches. Okay, mobilize. And I got myself consumes all population in a village or city. Okay. Okay, this city still didn't recover after my last consumption. <laughs> this one also didn't cons uh, recover. Right, I need a new city. 
Don't see any. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. I kinda like wonder how many cards I can hold in my hand. The game doesn't tell me how many I can have. Which is a bit terrifying if you think about that. Okay, whatever. Uh, we need to heal. So allow them to move. Let's heal. And let's drain the population. Right, what's this? A village. Oh, I can actually go here. Or I can go north. Okay, I don't think that actually matters. <laughs> Unless they're gonna come to me. That's completely fine. Auto resolve. How dare you? You pathetic weakling. Wait, I just lost a unit? No, I didn't. Oh, thank God. Why is this village burning? Oh, no voice acting. I'm guessing because this is like still alpha uh, beta build. My lady, there are wolves ravaged through the forests, slaughtering and devouring everything in their way. We beg you, please protect us from the beasts. Yeah, start praying to you masters and overlords. Okay, I'm gonna heal. Because I cannot heal in this village. And I'm just gonna keep moving forward. And what we are facing here? Oh my god. Fair wolves, dire wolves, wolf, motor, mila. <sighs> Looks like we'll be eating wolf meat tonight, boys. Uh, I can get actually cast this thing, so that's gonna give me some more blood. That's actually it. I don't have anything else. Oh well, whatever. Oh, I cannot auto resolve. Well, fine with me. Actually, hold on. I can level you up. So let's see, what's like a good spell to level up? Maybe this one. Healing can increase it to 100, increase its range, mana reduction to 3. I thought you were gonna give me more damage. What's this? Ah, this is the target allied unit gonna give more damage. Uh, target allied unit and new lord lose 25 of their remaining health, both gain 50 attack. Target unit loses 25 of the remaining health and gain... Okay, that's mana reduction. Instead the, tar uh, instead, the target loses no health. Okay, so this one is actually like good, so let's take this one. So no longer we're gonna lose health because of using of that card. So it's gonna actually become useful, I believe. Alright! So let's see... How the wolf will bite. Okay, fighting again on the graveyard. Uh, right, that's the wolf mother. Right, she's gonna go first, and after that, rest of my army. Okay, I think we could try to repeat the tactic we did last time. But this time, though, I'm gonna put the acolytes on this side instead. Mm. Okay, so this squad goes here, this squad goes here. And the wolves, the wolves gonna go with this squad. Okay, hold on a second, because I will have difficulties with movement. Uh, okay, the archers can go in the back. Right, you go forward. Those are the accolade squads. Okay, so the walls will have to go first, but the problem is that they're gonna block my my troops. So let's do something like this, maybe. Actually, no. Let's do this. Okay, that should actually like, go quite nicely. Right, so. Hero goes first. And she's gonna go here. I don't know where the big bad wolf is going, but I don't really like this idea. Acolytes go here in the corner, hide. Here comes the next wolf pack. Right, now this is the archer squad, so... Oh wait, those wolves could actually attack my archer squad if I'm gonna put them here. So we're gonna go one tile away. Understanding the abilities of your enemies is the first key to success and victory. Sun Sun! No, he didn't say that. Archers go here. Uh, okay, then a the second archer squad. Okay, temporarily go here. The wolves are still moving. This is really fucking terrifying. Okay, wall, my wolves squad will go here. Now, the spearman squad. This is the spearman squad for this side. So you go here. This is the spear squad that's possible to go with the hero. Shit, I don't have mana. Okay, my flanking actually could not go as planet. We're gonna see. Right. So, those sides are ready. And this side is ready as well. Alright, so let's see what the enemy will do. The wolves are coming! I can hear their howling in the night. Okay, this is actually bad. Okay, we're gonna see how it's gonna go. 
Okay, you went here. Ow. Right, you don't move. Uh oh. She casted something and I'm not sure what. That's the biggest problem I have. Should we aim at her? Probably. But then again... Acolyte squad. Okay, shoot once at the wolf mother. I should probably have put my hero over there instead. She is better like fighting with those things. And you guys are gonna support this squad for now. Right, here come the wolves. Ow! Oh, my turn! Yeah, that's actually decent. You keep bombarding those guys on that side. Okay, good. Those wolves are gonna stand in a line. You're gonna attack the wolf mother. Using your ability. There you go. You're gonna charge at me, so that's... I wish you good luck with that thing. Right. So now I can attack the wolf mother. And because I'm flanking, so she's gonna get more damage. Now this squad could go here. And we can actually begin flanking. There you go. Ow! Your guys could attack. Yeah, the flanking movement is... Like, this is actually the thing. Like, once you're gonna find, like, good positions for your troops... Then you can actually, like, achieve quite nice victories, you know? Like, really epic ones. Completely annihilating your enemy and humiliating him in most possible of ways. I just hit it, that unit for 95. What the fuck I made out of? Actually, I can just charge at the renaming wolf pack and completely don't give her two shits. Sure! <laughs> Cecilia is on the run. She is thirsty for your blood. Uh oh. The fuck is that? I should probably be scared about that spell, but... Okay, for now. Right, you're using the same ability as... Uh, as I did. Okay, so I'm gonna bombard you with archers. Because you're doing only 75 damage either way, so... I don't really give a shit. And... Okay, you shoot at the wolf mother, just in case. You need to take her out. You use the ability on the wolf mother. There you go. You finish the wolf mother. Ah, fuck, you didn't manage to. Ow! That's gonna leave a mark. Alright, you guys, you don't have to do anything. You finish the wolf mother. Beautiful. Right, you go around and attack the squad. Beautiful. Ow. Now, this squad. Okay, you can just use guard, I guess. There's nothing else we could try to do with you. You're gonna heal this squad. Sweet. Cecilia, I finished the wolf. <laughs> 88. Yeah, I think the wolves do not have any armor, you know? Yeah, good good move. Mm -hmm. Really good idea that was. Right, aim shot. Aim at those wolves. Nice. Uh, you're gonna aim at this squad over here. Nice. You're gonna go forward, so now I can actually, like, uh, killbox you again. Okay, this archer does not have aim to any of the squads, so you guys go here and you're gonna aim at whatever you wish. You attack those wolves, you attack those wolves. Now this squad of spearmen will be able to attack the other squad, I believe, and I can just exchange if I need to. Okay, you wait where you are. You do flanking, 44 damage. Nice! I'm really looking forward for the future units I'll be able to train with this thing. I really hope for like some Blood Knights Cavalry or something like that. That'd be cool. Uh, okay, Acolytes don't move anything. Alright, Cecilia's going around. Acolytes, you don't have anything to do. That's the worst part. Okay, you finish off the wolves. You're gonna go out closer, so you're gonna help with the damage. You attack those wolves. This is the only squad remaining either way, so that's fine. Okay, you could fall back. You're taking a bit too much damage. You go forward to block the enemy. Very good. Very, very good, my little ones. And... Okay, Cecilia, go and finish off. Hello! <laughs> 108! Suck my undead balls! And what I got... Oh, okay. Good blood sucking. Fear no more, mortal. The walls will not bother you again. Thank you, my lady. Take this as a symbol of my gratitude. You dare to give me something because of a gratitude? I should kill you on your stand. Uh, okay, let's see. I can get some... Actually, I got probably... Yeah, I got a limit of blood anyway. What's this? Gain 15 health and gain 20 attack. 
Oh my god! <laughs> my hero just became even more powerful. That's so nice. And I can get Avernity as well. Okay, silver chevrons, this is what I like to see. Yes, 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 very good. Basically, the enemy is right now fucked. My strength, 155. This is getting better and better with each passing second. Uh, okay, you go forward. Can use this card to get some blood anyway. There we go. And I can use this card to get some villagers, I guess. Yeah, get get some cards on that village, I guess. I mean, I, I don't think the enemy is gonna attack me from the side, unless it's gonna be like some type of event, they're gonna repair this bridge and then attack me. Then maybe I should try to worry about... Right now! I'm not worried in the slightest. Auto resolve, please. <laughs> Pathetic. Pathetic! How even do you dare to stand against me? Oh, great mana. Need mana. Thank you. Much appreciated for the mana. Mana mana. Mana mana. Little lady, this is what Lad sends against us. The Dracul family is not what it used to be. If you can't keep the mortals in check, why should the rest of us bend the knee? Watch your town, witch! You will bend your knee just like every other creature in this realm. Yeah, apparently. How strong are you? 144. <laughs> Actually, 114. <laughs> Pathetic! Oh, I, I have to actually fight you. Uh, isn't that just... Oh... She got bats for days! This grave is slightly different and... Yeah, she got bats. Okay, that's the... Oh my god, that's a dual, dual wielding witch! Oh, oh, that's not really good. Frogfoot. Simone Frogfoot. Okay, very interesting. Um, okay, how the fuck are we gonna do this thing? Oh, shit. You know what, I could just try to... Like, get over here. If I'm gonna put my units, like, literally next to one another, then... There's no possibility for the bats to outmaneuver me, right? To my understanding. So if I'm gonna make a kill box over here... Like, let's say, like this... Yeah, the archer seems to go like this. Like such. And then I can put this unit here. Okay, so that's one kill box. And then this is the second kill box. This unit is kinda like exposed, but... Like still, this is fine. I only have to protect from one, two, three units. This is like a perfect kill box right now. This thing over here. Alright, let's let's see how this thing is gonna go. No, no, no. You're not moving an... I Wait, she casted a slow spell on me. Oh no, what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I won't be moving! No! <laughs> oh, pathetic. Ah, oh, great. I forgot that those bats can teleport. Lovely. Can't wait for those idiots to utilize that thing in combat. Yay! Teleporting gigantic fucking bats. Lovely. Okay, I can already start to shoot at you. Fire! <clears throat> Fire! And there goes your fucking flying! <laughs> okay, set up guard, 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 guard. Okay, now, I can now we can actually wait for the enemy to come to us. Uh, enemy? Are you coming? Ah. Yeah, well, she can still cast spells at me. Hey, you are supposed to go to Cecilia. Why are you not going to Cecilia? Come on! Don't tell me you're afraid. You can't be afraid. Ouch, that's actually like a lot of damage. Why does the bats make so much damage? That's ridiculous. Yeah, see? The bigger ones did less damage. What the fuck? What the actual fuck, I ask you? Alright, the wolves do their shit. Good. Speaking of wolves, she also has wolves. Uh, okay, aim shot. Aim at the acolytes because they can actually heal. So I prefer them to die quite quick as that is uh, remotely possible. If you could, please. Okay, there you go. You're taking, like, nice damage. Keep aiming at the Acolytes. Good. You finish off the bats. Ow. Nine damage. Right. You're gonna attack the bats as well. <laughs> One bat remaining. <laughs> Pathetic. Right. First squad dead. Uh, okay, you guys finish off this squad. Very good. Now, Acolytes will can move. 
I don't think I can heal this unit. No, I can heal this unit. Awesome. All right. Cecilia, stay where you are. Don't move. <sighs> of course. Because I'm cr crumped like that, she's casting really powerful spells at me. And now she's kicking the living shit out of my fucking soldiers. Not good. Uh, okay, Acolytes can do anything. Wait, what the fuck? Oh yeah, I moved the Acolytes here. That's a bit of a problem. I have been outsmarted by my enemy who decided not to go to my kill box. What in the actual fuck? Uh, okay, the Acolytes heal, so they won't be able to heal for the next few turns. Alright, you keep damaging the witch. Dual wielding witch. I like, I swear to god, I think I have everything right now in my life. Ah, she reduced your armor, that's why you took so much damage. Oh. Okay, okay, I see how this thing is going. Okay, boys, tempo move. We are moving to help your brethren in arms. Because they're taking way too much damage. Uh, okay, you're gonna leave the slot for Cecilia to move. You can just cast armor if you really want to. Okay, walls go here. Cecilia will, Cecilia will be able to move next. Cecilia is on the move, boys! I repeat, Cecilia is on the move! Finish the witch! Watch this! <laughs> Oh, glorious. That's so good to see. Oh, yeah, what you gonna do? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is that the best you have? A toddler hits harder than you. Okay, wolves are incoming. They went for Cecilia. You really think that this is a good idea? You, you honestly think that this is a good idea, boy? Allow me to introduce you to my newest discovery. It's called Pain. Very good. Wait, I can actually cast... Deals 40 damage to adjusted enemy units. <laughs> Lovely. And finish off this wolf squad. There you go. Alright, uh, you boys. You can just stay there and try to guard the archers. Acolytes cannot do anything yet. Cecilia, can you do your magic trick? <laughs> 93 damage. I think I make her a bit too overpowered right now. She's basically one-shotting almost everything on the map. This is really sad. This is really, really sad right now. What I have created? I have created a monster. Good. The same as the Acolytes and we are, we'll be on our way. Yeah, okay. Uh... I don't think Cecilia will be able to finish this. Yeah. And guess who win again? And that was a really lovely experience. Thank you, witch. It's only proves how powerful I am. Oh fuck yeah, I got an armor. That's the only thing I've actually missed. Gains regeneration and something else. Fuck yeah. There you go, Cecilia. And now you are fully equipped for war. Beautiful. Full. I'm gonna even fucking heal you. There we go. So my strength of this squad is 159 right now. Mmm. That is just delicious. You have to admit. This is really, really delicious. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is actually a good moment to leave this episode as over here. We still have a bit of a terrain to pass in order to get to the final, I think, keep. This actually looks really impressive, by the way, I just have to admit. Uh, so yeah, I think that the next episode will be the last episode of the first mission. I'm not sure are there any more missions? Maybe they are, maybe they are not. If you want to try the game yourself, sadly you can't on the day when I'm recording this and you won't be able on the day when I'm gonna upload this. But the game will be released very soon. So feel free to follow the links in the description below. That thing will leave you to the Steam page where you can get the game eventually. For now, you can get it, uh, you can add it to your wishlist. Uh, so feel free to do so. I think this is an interesting title like people who enjoy strategy games I think they're gonna have like a really good time Especially if you enjoy those games with the card systems and actually like tactical movement though Keep in mind that this is the first mission. So maybe that's why this thing is so easy I don't know. We're gonna see that thing probably in the future But for now, I'm gonna leave this thing as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the like episode. This was a lot. I'll see you all in the next video